Hey friends, today we are at Alum Cave Bluff Trail in the Smokies. We're up camping at Elkmont and just couldn't pass on this. It's a five mile, I think it's a moderate to strenuous hike and we're going to show you some of the highlights as we go up and some of the views. It's supposed to be the, some of the prettiest views in the entire park. I've done it before but it's been a lot of years so really looking forward to it. So come with. So as we make our way up the trail here, the Smokies have done some great trail work. Erosion purposes. I love these little stream cuts with the big stones. Just some storm damage or somebody coming through with a lot of machete work, taking down rhododendron. Just gives you an idea. It's a really pretty hike. Again, I haven't been up this in 20 something years, but it's really good. There's a huge fir tree up ahead. It's, I wouldn't consider that old growth, but it's a pretty big tree. We'll get up here to it. By the way, here's a creek action. Yeah, this is a big tree. He would stand out as a giant among all the other trees here. Uh, he's probably a few hundred years old. If I put my arms around it, in fact, let's do that. Let me show y'all what it's like for me to put my hands around this tree, how big it is. I've seen bigger, but this is a big one. I'm not even halfway around, I don't think. So, it's a really nice hike. It's only like 72 degrees. Back in Knoxville in the city, it's probably about 92 degrees today. So let's keep going up the mountain. All right, folks, we're coming up on Arch Rock here. One of the highlights going up to Alum. So you go over the footbridge. Here in hiking stick with me and try to do this. It's a little daunting. Look how beautiful this is. One of the cool highlights of this. Kind of watch your head. I'm six feet tall. Not quite bump, but taller guys might. So you do this too much, you'll wear out your knees. It's a lot of stairs. Nothing like some of the gorges like Tallulah Gorge in Georgia. All right, so let those folks pass. Still climbing up. So you got a heck of an elevation change. Turn around here at the top and shoot back. Definitely getting to more strenuous part of the hike. So, keep going up that way. So there's where we came down. There's folks in that clearing, that's where we came up. Neat little feature. Definitely get some muscles going and the heart rate going. All right, folks, we're back up here. You make a big bend coming up the mountain here. It's a pretty good climb. You have some peaks of sun, but you get out here on this rock, outcropping, nice place to rest. A lot of people take pictures up here. So you're just walking on pure rock, as you see. And I'll turn around up here. So the trail goes that way. Put all this rock face up here. And you may not be able to see it with the light. Anyway, coming back down where we just came from. So if you come up here, you're actually hiking back toward the trailhead. These are views you got, so usual low-lying clouds, it's the Smokies. So still come back down your trail, coming over this way. We're gonna make the bend here. Some folks coming up. You know, it's just a little offshoot trail there. You got this view. That's what you come up and you look at. And you're going back down this way. So there's your view. So we had to stop somebody coming across. Huge part of the out face or a rock face there. So you got more stairs. I'll just keep you with me for a minute. These aren't as steep. Folks are coming down. So up here's the bluff. 
Yep. So as we get closer, you have a flat spot to rest up under the bluff here. Hey, how y'all doing? Good. So, here we are. We've done a lot of work getting these stairs in place. All right, so once you get up here to the trail, or top of the trail, I shot video coming up and took a break. I had some families up here just want to take a break and breathe and get a snack. So if I'm looking straight ahead, it would be about right here. So where those folks are walking, I'm guessing we're probably good 40 foot, 30, 40 foot uh, incline. So I don't know how far they are from us, but it's a ways. Anyway, so we're completely under a bluff here. You see the staircase, there's some folks going down that were up here. So if you keep going to Lacant, there's the stairs. But so, folks come up here to the stairs and then keep hiking up the trail all the way up there. And you go around and, and you pick up Lacant. It's about another three miles or so to Lacant. A lot of folks just turn around here. And the footing's pretty good. I mean, it's. It's dusty looking, but I mean, it's not slick either. So you can count on a, a decent traction. Anyway, low, low hanging cloud still. Good place to come though. All right, so we're coming down Alum Cave. Just had a little shower to cool it off a little bit. When we were up at the cave, thermometer showed it was 69 degrees felt good nice and sunny but felt good had a lot of people on the trail it's summertime in the Smokies though um, if you've not been here before of course always be prepared for weather the Smokies I think during the summer are a temperate rainforest at least places are so you're always gonna get a little shower but uh, keep a poncho in your bag or raincoat something like that we had to pull our ponchos out and pack covers for a little bit but anyway it's a uh, it's a fun hike we hike at a pretty decent pace um, we get up there in an hour and 20 minutes I believe so the old two miles an hour plus some for elevation that's about right um, we took a few stops most people do. It's it's got to work out with these stairs around here. But anyway, um, we turned around, and started heading back after about an hour and 45 minutes away from the car. So you can knock it out pretty quick. All right. So big tree here. We'll work on a summary once we get back to the car. Okay. So here we are back near the trailhead, Allen K Bluff. Um, cover most everything. It's definitely a hot, humid day, but you get up here in the mountains and 90 degrees in the city. It's going to be mid-70s here, maybe a little bit warmer. Enjoyable walk. Um, when you look at the map, it does show strenuous. I thought it was more of a moderate strenuous. When you get to Allen Cave Bluff, you've got another 2.7 miles to go up to Mount Leconte. We may do that next spring. It's been many years since I've done that. But uh, definitely recommend that you come out, bring your family, bring some good shoes. We have a lot of folks that uh, are in tennis shoes or athletic shoes, at least you wouldn't see anybody in flip flops. Be sure to bring some water. We passed a number of people who are just walking without food, water, backpack. By the time you get up there, you want to get you something salty. Uh, get you a break with some energy and definitely want to hydrate. Bring you a little Gatorade, get you some electrolytes. All right, folks, really appreciate y'all watching. As always, keep your feet on the ground and your eyes on the trail. Thank you.